I'm just going to take you through this um, coupon code thing. Um, we can put a coupon code thing in here. Uh, you can apply it, and you know it's easy to set up. That's not a problem. Where I see this stumbling down, though, and this is where it's important. Look, I've added a coupon, so it's going to come up now. What happens is when we go through to the checkout, and I think this is where we had the problem before. If the person puts, you know, ABC one two three in there, expects to update it, and because seemingly nothing happens, i.e on the other kind of ones you have the one you're running at the moment where you get £20 for free food it's not like it is says here you know it's not applying a discount it's do you understand what I'm trying to get at here you see you've got a situation where you can you know you can even give them free shipping or discount or something like that you're not knocking £20 off so when you go through to here you can enter that coupon code here but to be able to do the other coupon code like Louise wants, you have to have we had to put the coupon code here and then look at it once it had come through to the you know the payment bit. So I think it's a little confusing. I think the problem we're gonna have is we've got to do one or the other. We're either gonna do one where it applies a discount or free shipping, or we have the one which we presently have, which is where, you know, if you enter the code in here you get free, you know, Louise put some free food together for you. I hope that makes sense. It's a bit garbled, but you understand what I'm trying to get at. You can't, the system is going to be hard to do one or the other, really.